So I, I guess the first question is the easy one. Why are you running for, why would anybody want this job? Well, I'm running for the office of state chair of the Texas Democratic Party because I believe it's time to start winning again. Mm -hmm. It's been too long since we've won an election statewide. Our statewide candidates have not won an election since 1994. And it's time that we win again. When statewide candidates lose, we lose. We end up with uh, governors like George Bush, Rick Perry, and so on, and all the corporate elitists that they bring with them. It's time that we have a voice for the people, and it's time that we start winning. What's the party done or not done that created that situation? I think the biggest problem is targeting. Um, the party leaders decide that they're going to target certain House races, certain elected or certain candidates that um, they think are choice candidates, and they leave everybody behind. Um, I've seen that in the experience that I've had running three statewide campaigns, and it has to stop. We need to, we need to support all our candidates, from the bottom up all the way to statewide candidates. And I think we need to focus on statewide candidates because they've got the power of state government to do the people's work, mm -hmm. to represent the people, to bring a real government to the people. Right now, we have, uh, I think it's 29 statewide offices, and we have zero. The Democratic Party has been losing for too long, and it's time to start fighting to win. And I'm ready to do the job. Okay. Um, what's the party doing wrong? I mean, obviously the campaigns aren't, aren't measuring up, and you know, something's not working on the, at, at the campaign level. But what, what part of this is the responsibility of a candidate on one hand and of the party on the other hand? The responsibility of the candidate is to put his you know, life and duty to that office that he seeks, to the, um, to the party, to, to the people. Uh, the part of the Democratic Party um, leaders is to support those candidates and to run what I would recommend is running coordinated campaigns. Mm -hmm. We put our funds together and stretch our resources out uh, amongst all the candidates, and that hasn't been happening. Mm -hmm. The money seems to have run to the Republicans. Is there, um, are there enough people with enough money out there to support Democrats in Texas to make this viable again? I believe there is. Uh, even if I just took a dollar from a million voters, a million citizens, I would have a million dollars and not be beholden to one contributor that gives one million dollars, and he is forcing the party leadership to run the can campaigns that he wants to run or the, candid the candidates or campaigns that he wants to run and the message. I don't think that a contributor should be the sole leader in saying, this is how I want you to push the campaigns. This is the message. I think the message has to come with the issues mm -hmm. and about the people and what are the best um, things we can do for the people. So a dollar a person sounds a lot better to me it's going to be a hard job, but I will work hard to bring in that money. I'll do whatever it takes, night and day, seven days a week. I will get the job done. What, what prompted you to run? Without you know, uh, <clears throat> you know, what prompted you to get into this race? Did you think, you know, Hustle wasn't the right candidate? Did you think um, you were the right candidate? Did you? I mean, I believe talk I'm, about that a little bit. I believe I'm the right candidate for the job. I believe what it takes is a, a person that uh, is a true activist. I'm a lifelong Democratic activist. I'm a lifelong union activist. I joined the union in 1980. My father told me the night before I started my first job at Southwestern Bell, get a union rep. As soon as you, you get there, go look for a union representative, sign your union card, and get involved. My father, my family, we were not, um, we were not wealthy. We were a struggling family. I'm one of nine children. But my father knew the power of the union and the power of representation with the voice and power of labor behind you. So I followed his instructions or orders, and I did it. I found a union rep. I didn't wait for them to find me. And ever since then, I mean, it is, it's, it's helped to shape who I am. I'm a strong un union woman and a, st a strong Democrat. And I'm strong, I give my mother credit as well. I had a very strong mother. I mean, she had nine children, so you got to be strong. And um, she uh, also was very involved in community politics and kind of gave me my first lessons in grassroots organizing and doing um, neighborhood events, bringing in candidates, getting them introduced to the neighborhood. And we were from a small barrio, you know. We were from a small south side neighborhood, um, the Palm Heights area off of uh, I-35 and Malone and Theo. Um, 
full of heart, a great neighborhood. I love my neighborhood. I love my barrio. I never forgot where I came from. Um, and I have great memories of growing up as a little child, hanging out at Palm Heights Recreation Center. That's where we got our, our little breakfast, and that's where we got our lunch, and that's where we played and got all that energy going out. And um, I learned a lot there, hanging with different children from the community who were struggling, and we built great bonds of friendship and unity. And um, I, I thank the City Parks and Recreation for that program, mm -hmm. uh, for keeping us off the streets and giving us somewhere to hang out and somewhere to have a little meal. It was real important. When did you start running? Uh, on this election right. itself, uh, I believe it's been three weeks. I think April, I think April 9th was the so, uh, filing deadline. So the election, so the election was, <clears throat> or will be on uh, June 8th and 9th, somewhere in there. Yes. Um, is that enough time? Should you have started earlier? Do you wish you'd, you'd I, jumped in earlier, or do you think this is adequate time to? I mean, in the end, it's always better to have more time. Um, I know that, but it is what it is, and I'm going to make the best of the next, uh, I think I have about six weeks to go. I'm going to work, you know, 16, 18 hours a day is what I've been doing for the last three weeks, and uh, I'm going to just fight like hell and get out there and push my message and push the thought and, and the reasoning of what we need to do. We need to get up and start fighting again. Too much defeatism, too much, you know, low targeting. I say we target the whole state of Texas. It's, it's time to win.